Hi everybody, it's Diane Spadola. I just wanted to get in touch with you and talk to you a little bit about Inspiration to Paint. Uh, this is officially week number two, but it's actually the third assignment that we've talked about in January. Wanted to show you, um, I am started an exercise program, as most people do, uh, on the 1st of January. And one of the things that I'm trying to do is actually get into the habit of going to the YMCA every single day um, to do something to move in some way, shape, or form. So what I want to do is I want to talk to you about the fact that relationship marketing is very similar to making a habit out of exercise. The benefits occur later, not necessarily on the day that you do it, but it's really important to be consistent so that you can develop a habit and make sure that you're doing it every day and then those benefits occur over time and have an opportunity to reap uh, great success for you in the future. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, how your relationships work. Uh, if you see on the left hand side, if you have difficulty connecting or being heard, um, is going to depend totally on the strength of your relationship with an individual. So you're not going to be heard by somebody who's a complete stranger. When you look up here, this is the um, person who you're making a cold call on. They're not going to be re interested in responding. But if you sort of go down along the strength of your relationships, you'll see that the former customers, your colleagues, your current customers, your best friend, and then lastly, your relatives, if they support what you're doing as a face painter, it's going to be very easy to connect with them. Um, you're not going to have any difficulty communicating. For example, my dad reads every newsletter that I write. I don't have to worry about him opening it because he's anxious to see what I have to say. Unfortunately, he's not ever going to be a potential client. Um, he's not interested in having his face painted and he doesn't do too many parties. Um, this is a picture of me with my dad. We do a lot of fun stuff and as many of you know, he's in the hospital currently. So I'm grateful for your prayers. We want to talk about relationship marketing being as um, the people on the donut, okay? So your clients and prospects are inside the donut. Those are the people that are going to actually bring you income, uh, provide you with some support financially, um, people that are booking your parties, people that are sharing how good you are, people that are uh, providing reviews for your stuff online, etc. Then you have these people that are in the middle part of the donut. Um, colleagues, relatives, vendors, friends, prospects, people that have not given you money yet but are capable of sharing the news about what you do. And then you have everybody else in the universe which is outside the donut and we want to kind of forget about them for the time. So this week we're going to focus on the people that we know. The people that are already our fans, our friends, maybe our clients, and we're going to speak to them. We're going to wonder what can we do for them this week. Okay, and I'm going to give you an assignment that has to do with that. So what I want to do is I want to have you figure out your top 10 very influential friends. Um, you want to repeat work with the people who love you now because it's less expensive, it's more targeted. You don't have to convince them that you're good at what you do because they already know and they already love you. And it's very easy for them to share your success and your sort of positive accomplishments uh, with a bigger group, their friends and their family. So it's all about widening your circle, making the whole of the donut sort of become the donut. And just like the gym, we want to do it on a consistent basis every single day and develop a habit. That's what my course is about, is developing a habit of marketing your business the same way as you're currently in the habit of painting every day. So your assignment is to identify your 10 most important fans, clients, prospects, neighbors, contacts, church, school, work. It could be your pastor. It could be your dry cleaner. Um, it could be the lady at the grocery store if you have her address. And I want you to pick three of them and write them a handwritten note. That handwritten note really won't focus on anything about your business, but we'll talk to them about them. Happy New Year, how are they, you saw that, you heard that, you learned that they just had a baby, their child started college, they had a wonderful Christmas vacation, whatever it happens to be. It's about them, not about promoting your business. So for those of you who are painting every day, it's really important for you to realize that that is no different than how you're going to market your business. Establishing a consistent habit, 
making it really small if necessary when you have only a little bit of time and making a bigger effort when you have more time. Uh, my class, Accelerate Your Success, is all about identifying what you can do and who you're going to do it for um, so that you can maintain a consistent presence in front of your fans, your prospects, your clients, um, and develop more business, more repeat business, or maybe target those people who are like the clients that you already have, but you just need more of them. There's opportunities to launch your business into the stratosphere um, by writing a book, being on a TV show, um, being on the front page of a newspaper that reaches far beyond your local community, um, winning the lottery, winning a major league uh, body painting championship contest, uh, being on Skin Wars, being on Face Off. Those are all things that can help to boost your career in a dramatic sense. However, for most of us, those are not realistic. So what I want to do is I want to focus on the smaller things, the things that you're going to do every day. Three handwritten notes is all I'm asking for today. Um, if you get in the habit or you like writing handwritten notes, you can do one a day, you could do five a week. Um, it's all about whether it's something that you enjoy. But I'd like you to do three handwritten notes, not promotional, send them to your clients, um, and use the hashtag three, T-H-R-E-E, -E, on your assignment when you post. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.